Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on ECB Thursday here, 15th of June. A couple of charts that are piquing my interest here. Uh, gold, we're bullish gold, uh, but today we are bearish. Uh, only because looks like there's going to be some risk here below 30, 1930. So it's a pretty straightforward play. Um, this is a break trade. Try and wait for the momentum. Pick your spot. Um, get short, maybe 29.50, 30 or something. Uh, and just look to harvest 10 or 20 bucks uh, on the gold chart. First support comes in at 12. Bigger support comes in at 1890. Mega support comes in at 1860. I don't think we're going to head that. I'm not even sure we're going to head. We're going to get below 1900. Um, but the setup is familiar to us. Uh, and again, it doesn't matter whether you're bullish or bearish. We're just here to make money. So gold. It's a bit Aussie yen getting a little stretched um, up here. I don't mind selling some Aussie yen. Um, also a little bit risk off. Sure, 2022 September Aussie yen traded up at 98.66. But this is rarefied air uh, for Aussie yen. Let's look at the weeklies. As you can see. Rarefied air, right? We were, we were trading at 60 in Aussie yen not, not too long ago. Uh, January 2020. Now we have on the dailies, what do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 straight up days. Um, getting a little bit frothy here, uh, Aussie yen. What are you going to take uh, as your catalyst here? Maybe keep an eye on Spoo's. Um, Doji yesterday tickled the downside, but didn't really leave a mark. Um, here we are back at 44.18. If this thing starts looking left for whatever reason, perhaps ECB is, is more hawkish, um, then have a look at Aussie N. Definitely a little stretched. Euro. Not doing too much, right? I mean, kind of made some headway up to uh, 108.65, but here we are at 108.12. How hawkish are they going to be today? I would say yesterday the Fed was pretty hawkish, right? Like, there was nothing dovish about that at all, which is why I'm surprised equities are here. But um, let's see what uh, Chrissy L. and her troop comes up with today um, we'd like this to test basically one 111 um, but with Jay Powell and his gang being that hawkish and sort of looking at terminal at, at 575 uh, 6 six double o, we could be in a bit of a stasis here in Euro sort of back and forth back and forth um Let's just see how that goes. There's not much to do in Euro. Cable, we made the new high. If you remember when we were at 111 in Euro back in May, um, that was cable tickling the 126.80s. Uh, we got through that yesterday, but then after the hawkish Fed, we came back down. Uh, there is some risk here now in cable that... Longs, longs get, get caught. I don't really have a great feel for it, I gotta say. Like, how many people really got long? There was not big volume going through as we punched through 80, traded up to 127 the figure yesterday. I was obviously watching it. Uh, it didn't strike me as a moment where people were plunging, um, to borrow a Jesse Livermore phrase. Um, Anyway, anyone who is any still longs are going to have to kick the can. 12626, it's a cute number. Um, also a pivot. 
keep an eye on that right um, today, although it's 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 a euro day. What else we got? Euro Swiss looks pretty robust. I believe the SNB is today as well. I should know this. I, I haven't even looked because we're not really trading Swiss francs much these days. Um, but I have to kind of just chuckle. We talked about strong hands at uh, 96.70. Um, as is often the case when we talk about a story and it works, we usually don't have the trade on. Um, when it works so perfectly. Um, but here it is. This looks like it's turned. Uh, and if we remain risk on, and if the ECB is hawkish, Euro Swiss goes back to one. Sterling Yen, I don't know what to say with this, right? It's kind of like Aussie Yen, like who let the dogs out? 178.50. Um, this is two and a half sigma on a, on your 30 to 35 day. Do you really want to sell sterling yen? Do you really want to sell anything against the yen right now? Uh, BOJ tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Are they going to, are they going to now squawk a little bit about this, um, this little dollar yen breakout? I mean, they intervened at 150. We're at 141. You, I don't think they're really going to care, right? Um, I don't think they're going to mention the end. The only thing that might come up tomorrow is if they tighten the yield curve just to reflect their caution about inflation. Obviously, a weakening currency creates inflation for a country. The yen has weakened precipitously here, um, 1,200 points in the last two months. I don't know. I don't know what to do with yen. I will have some downside in tomorrow in case they surprise because nobody, I don't know one person who thinks they're going to fuck with the yield curve or change the YCC commentary or whatever. What's funny about the BOJ is, you know, people in the West are always the last to know, as in like it takes us 10 seconds to get the Japanese language translation and then put it up on in Western sources or whatever, and so 10 seconds, you're a dinosaur during the BOJ, right? So you're you're just watching price. You're just like, whoop, why are we down 200 points? <laughs> and then you read the headline um, that everyone in Japan has already heard live. Um, kind of cute, the whole, I think I'm going to trade the BOJ strategy that we Westerners um tend to tend to lean into uh but anyway i'll be up uh as i'm up during i'm always up that time anyway and i'll be watching and we will have some downside in um obviously the bottom edge of this range is 138.50 i mean are we going to be at 142 heading into this uh and are they going to clip both sides which is often the case on a, on a boj day uh, so anyway, buckle your seatbelts um, for that. Main focus today for us is gold. Um, let's see how this uh, 1930 level trades. And then we'll wait for the ECB, uh, which has been incredibly boring and very, very hard to listen to uh, over the years. And see what Chrissy and her gang says. I mean, could they be hawkish? I, I don't think so. Could they be bearish? Well, I, I think definitely not. Um, I think they're just going to say like a bunch of jumble central bank speak uh, bullshit. And let me take a guess that Euro is going to be 108.23, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time today. You guys can call me out if I'm wrong there. Anyway, that's all I got. Gold's main focus here. Talk to you guys tomorrow.